Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geekilemi Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to take pictures from your device's camera. Now already in my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Camera App for the purpose of this tutorial. Now I'm just going to make the app project a little bit bigger here. Now there's a number of things we need to do before we can get down to the code inside of the app. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is head over to our main Dutch storyboard where we're going to add in the interface or the objects in our interface for the application itself. So the simple things we need to add is an image view as this is where we're going to want our image to be displayed once we have taken the photo. So I'm just going to resize it so it fits in quite nicely. And very importantly I need to add the uh, in the um, objects kind of... Um, uh, the attribute inspector, sorry, um, click on mode here and we need to select um, aspect fit. This means it will fit in proportion in the image view so it won't kind of resize it to fit the image view. The image view will kind of compensate the image to fit in it uh, so the image doesn't get stretched or resized so the image is perfectly fine when being displayed. Uh, and then we need to add in a button um, so we can, once we press that, it will load up um, the camera on our device. Um, I'll simply name this button something simple like take a photo. And then we need to um, get our assistant editor here, the little um, symbol there looks like a butler. Make sure you select our view controller dot H and I'll just simply put in our brackets to space it out. Uh, we need to um, click and drag and create an outlet for our image view. I'll simply name this image view and our action button here for our button and I simply name this, make sure you select action I simply name this take photo nice and easy and very simple to understand okay so once we've done that we can close our assistant editor and we can head back in to our view controller H where we need to add a few more things before we can get started so to add um, or to take photos uh, from our camera we need to add the UI navigation controller and UI um, image picker controller delegate. So to do that just after our UI view controller here we do the more than and less than symbol there and in between them we do UI navigation controller there we go uh, and then we do a comma and we need to add in UI image um, uh, picker controller delegate there. Now that will allow us to um, kind of use the camera features within our application. Now just after the IB outlet for our UI image we need to um, create a um, kind of not an outlet in a sense but we need to create um, our picker and our uh, UI image to display um, our images within our image view. So to do that we do UI image uh, picker controller there we go space uh, asterisk and I simply name this picker so it's again easy to understand when we come to coding it uh, and then we need to use create a UI image uh, there we go space and our um, asterisk and I simply name this again it's a very simple image so it's easy to understand and then that raise semicolon now once we've done that we can go into our view controller dot m already our action uh, is already kind of placed in there for us after using the assistant editor I'll just space it out so we can see what we are typing. So what we need to do is add our, let me go back to our view controller dot H, our uh, UI picker controller here which we named picker. So in here we need to go picker uh, space equals space, so it's going to equal bracket bracket uh, UI image um, picker controller space alloc, because we need to allocate it, space after the bracket we do space in it and that with a bracket and a semicolon. And we need our next line we need to do picker space equals space uh, oh no sorry picker dot delegate that's description so picker dot delegate space equals space there we go uh, bra um, uh, blah, blah, self uh, and that rate semicolon then we need to do bracket picker and then we need to space set source type there we go and in this we need to set the type of a uh, function we want to use when we press this button so as you want the camera to load up we need to use the UI image picker controller and then the source type will be the camera so we do UI 
uh, image uh, picker uh, controller uh, source type camera as we want to use the camera and that with the bracket and a semicolon and then we need to do um, to present that view in front of us we need to do bracket self uh, present um, view controller and in the um, highlighted section here we need to do picker which is our um, picker controller uh, in the animated we need to do yes in the completion we'll simply put in no and that red bracket and a semicolon so all this will simply do is simply once we press it it will load our camera view up and we can take a photo but once we've taken that photo it hasn't really put it in our image view it hasn't really done anything with the image as yet so what we need to do is create a void statement underneath our IB action. So we need to do dash uh, bracket void and then we bracket. And we need to do image picker controller. Uh, and there we go. So image picker controller uh, did uh, finish picking media with info. So once it's finished picking the media or the image uh, or as we've taken the photo, what we need to do is get our UI image. So we name that image uh, space equals space info space object for key object for key there we go and in the highlighted section here we do add symbol quotation mark quotation mark and now we need to type out UI image and it's very it's case sensitive so remember that so UI image picker controller original make sure I'm sp spelling this out right I'm having a mind um, moment here original image there we go I got very confused there so UI image picker controller original image and that of a bracket and a semicolon space now we need to add our image uh, into our image view so do bra um, bracket uh, image view uh, set image and that's going to equal our image and that red bracket and a semicolon and then we do again uh, bracket self space and then once we've um, equaled our image view to our image we then need to get rid of the camera view that's over the top so we do dismiss uh, view controller animated in the uh, highlight section here we do yes and in the completion we do no and that of a bracket and a semicolon so basically once we've um, load, once we've pressed the button it's going to load up the camera we're going to take the picture and then once it's finished taking the picture or finished picking the media it will then get our image view or our image and place it within our image view but that's all well and fine and dandy it will dismiss the view controller after that but we need to now add another view um, void statement for if we loaded up our camera view and then we chose not to take a picture so once because there'll be when the camera loads up it will have the take photo and there'll be a cancel button so we need to add in some code for if we select the cancel button and that's simply all we need to do there is dash bracket void bracket uh, image picker uh, did finish in there and we got image picker controller did cancel uh, bracket space and um, do we uh, enter there and all we need to do now is we can simply copy and paste this line here so if it uh, did cancel all it's going to do is dismiss the view controller or the camera view over the top so that's simply uh, what we do when we press the cancel button so that's simply all the code we need to do there so now once our actions islands are already linked up we can go straight and build uh, on the simulator device now as the simulator doesn't have the ability to take photos I'm going to have to run this on my device so select my device and we'll build and run now just before we continue I just noticed one thing that was a mistake in our UI image picker controller original image make sure there's a capital on each of the words I just missed out the capital on controller so make sure you got each capital there I'll just simply highlight it so you can see it get clear so it's very important that you get that very right and it is case sensitive so once you got that right I'll go back and build and run now and should be able to see it in all its glory okay then so now this is the app running on my device uh, you can see now there's nothing being displayed in the image view as we have no image to display it in I'm having to use my device as we cannot use the camera on the simulator so all we need to do is click take photo it brings up the camera on my device and you can see I'm pointing it at the light on my desk. 
It has all the features the camera app or the camera does on the device. We have the option in the top right there to switch the camera around and they have the face um, camera looking towards me, which I'm sure you guys don't really want to see. We can turn the flash on and off and we have the cancel button at the bottom left. Uh, if we press the cancel button, it gets rid of the uh, view controller there, just like we did in our void statement. And again, we select take photo. So this time, if we take a photo, we are now given the option to retake the photo or use photo. So if we now select use photo, now that image is being displayed in our image view. And again, we can go back into our image view, uh, our um, camera, sorry, and maybe I'll take a photo of slightly more of the desk. I'll use that photo, and you can see the image changes within our image view. So that's simply how you take um, photos from your camera on your d uh, device. So I hope this helps in any app store projects at the moment. Uh, make sure you follow us and like us on Facebook and Twitter so you can keep up to date with everything that's going on with us. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you check out all our apps which are currently app stored just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh! I got him my pinky! I got him my- No, it's not my pinky! I got him my finger!